I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today I am solving a root locus problem. Control engineering. This is the problem they are given at. K divided by S. S plus 2. S plus 4. S plus 6. This is the problem they are given in the video 13, 14, 420 marks. Number of poles. Number of poles here. Number of poles. S is equal to. For S. You have to consider as a 0. For this one it is minus 2. And this one minus 4, minus 6. Therefore, number of poles will be 4. Number of zeros. There is no. This we refer as the poles and this is nothing but zeros. There are no zeros here. Therefore, z is equal to 0. Number of branches. Number of branches is nothing but p is greater than z. Therefore, p is equal to n. Number of branches in terminating at infinity. Formula will be p minus z is nothing but p is 4 here z is 0 4 batches oh sorry 4 branches terminating at infinity the root locus symmetry about the real axis and root locus present on the real axis the angle of asymptotes now what is the what is the value of p p is 4 here 4 z is 0 minus 1 is nothing but 3 therefore k will be 0 1 2 and 3 substitute the value of k here Theta 0 is equal to 2 into 0 plus 1 into 180 divided by P is 4 minus 0 is nothing but 45. Similarly, in place of K, substitute 1 here. You will operate theta 1 is equal to 135. Theta 2 will be 225. Substitute 2 value in place of K here. Theta 3 will be place of k you have to substitute 3 it will be 315 315 now what is centroid centroid is nothing but sum of p minus sum of z sum of p means you have to take this part this value is you have to write 0 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus z divided by p is nothing but 4 minus 0 if you calculate the centroid will be minus 3 now breakaway point first g of s s of s g of s s of s this value has to be written here okay this value has to be written here i will write 1 plus k divided by yes yes plus 2 yes plus 4 plus yes plus 6 is equal to 0 and this can be written as what in this way yes yes plus 2 yes plus 4 plus Yes, plus 6 plus k you are right is equal to 0. This k has to be brought here. Okay. And k is equal to minus final expression. I am writing it here. Uh, before this one, multiply each term here. And this can be the value will be uh, for this one. Yes, raised to 4 plus 12 s cube plus 44 s square plus 48 s plus k is equal to 0. Now I will take k here and this entire term will be this side becomes minus s raised to 4 plus 12 s raised to cube plus 44 s square plus 48 s 40 s now differentiate k by s dk by ds is equal to 0 differentiate this term this becomes what? 4 s cube plus 36 s square plus 88 s plus 48 is equal to 0. Okay, this term is obtained by multiplying this box. You will obtain this term. We are finding for k. This entire thing becomes minus. If you differentiate, we are neglecting the minus sign. Therefore, it becomes in this way. Now find out the root for this one. The root will be the roots will be for this one. S yes is equal to minus 0 0.764 minus 5.236 minus 3. These are the three roots obtained from the calculator. Next we are finding the crossover frequency. This is the crossover frequency we are finding it. Crossover frequency. 
crossover frequency by using RH criteria. We are using this this value here. S raised to four plus twelve S cube plus forty four S square. 44s square plus 48 s plus k is equal to 0. You have to use the RH criteria s raised to 4 s cube s square yes s 0. For this one 1 12 44 48 and this k this k multiply this and this 12 into 44 minus 48 into 1 divided by 12 the answer will be 40 40 now this and this 0 this 12 into k minus 0 into 1 divided by 12 it will be K here, K, this will be 0. Next, this and this, you have to do 40 into 48 minus K into 12 divided by 40. This will be 1920 minus K divided by 40. 0 and 0, this becomes 0. And finally, this is nothing but K. 1 1920 minus k divided by 40 into k this is 0 divided by 1920 minus k divided by 40 these and this cancels and finally k remains ok now for finding the k you have to consider this one 1920 minus k divided by 40 greater than or equal to 0 1920 minus k is equal to this becomes 0 here and minus k will be min minus 1920 this and this cancel the k will be 1920 1920 k will be 1920 just what I have made a mistake here uh, here it should be 12k 12k it should be 12k I have missed this value here it should be 12k 1920 minus 12k divided by 40 less than equal to 0. 1920 minus 12k is equal to 0. Minus 12k is nothing but 1920. This and this cancel k is equal to 1920 divided by 12. The answer will be the answer will be 160. The answer will be 160. 160. The answer will be 160. Next, finding the root on the real axis. Sorry, the imaginary axis. You have to take this one. Imaginary axis. You write to here to write in this way. 40 s square plus k is equal to zero. 40 s square plus k is nothing but 160. 160 is equal to 0. If you find the root, it will be plus or minus 2j. That is the imaginary term will appear. Imaginary term will be appear. This value is required for cutting the imaginary axis. This is the graph. I am considering the scale. X axis is equal to 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. And Y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. This is the imaginary axis. This is the real axis. Now 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8 and so on. This one plus 1j, plus 2j, plus 3j, plus 4j, plus 5j, minus 1j, minus 2j, minus 3j, minus 4j, minus 5j, minus 6j. Find out the root sorry poles first pole lies over the zero first pole second two minus two four third is on minus four and fifth is on minus six 
the root locus you have to consider in this way now here count it one it is odd therefore root locus exists here now consider the here there are two poles e1 pole the root locus doesn't exist here if you consider this pole there are three poles the root locus exists here imagine there is one more pole imagine it therefore then it comes four there is no root locus exists here next find out the centroid here what is the centroid centroid is minus 3 this is the centroid minus 3 the angle will be first 45 angle is 45 here 45 the angle will be 45 next angle will be 135 135 135 135 135 this is 45 this is 45 this is 135 45 135 next angle will be 225 just extend this one the angle will be 225 here and this one just extend this part the angle will be This angle will be 225 if you measure it from this side it will be 225 if you measure this part from this side it will be 315 it will be 215 and this will be 135 135 okay 135 next roots now these are the roots 0 minus 0 0.76 minus 0 0.76 okay this exists here 5 point something 5 5.23 exists here exist 5.23 exists here this exists this exists what about 3 3 doesn't exist there is no root locus here you have to neglect this one next imaginary part Imagine but they have said 2j. 2j. 2j means here. Plus j minus j. Now draw in this way exactly. Parallel to this one. It should parallel. Reaching to infinity. Similarly here same two in this two you have to take two roughly you have to take two, two, two okay pass properly this will be infinity infinity the k will be what k will be value of k will be 160 value of k will be 160 now arrows because the this line this point exists between the two poles the arrow will be in this way arrows will be in this way this is the center I am Satish Gaidankar. Thank you very much.